The rocket launching industry as a whole is very unpredictable. There are so many things to consider for a launch to happen. But when we talk about the Starship rocket, it becomes clear that other rockets aren't as hard to launch or predict. Starship has been filled with delays and unexpected issues right from the start, and these problems have led to multiple launch delays. Can you imagine? Musk originally planned to send this rocket to Mars by 2022. Yet, here we are, nearing the end of 2024, and we're not even close to that goal. In fact, we don't even have an operational prototype yet. Starship is still in the testing phase. Of course, this rocket is the largest ever built, and it's incredibly complex to develop. But more than anything else, it's the regulatory hurdles that have slowed down Starship's progress. Honestly, if this rocket had been built in another country, SpaceX might have advanced much further by now. Now, as SpaceX prepares for the next Starship flight, there's a lot happening between them and the FAA. The rocket has been ready for months, but the FAA isn't ready to give the green light for various reasons. However, we're finally starting to get some clarity on when the rocket might launch, and that's what we'll be talking about in this video. SpaceX has been facing continuous regulatory challenges, primarily with the FAA, which has played a significant role in delaying the much-anticipated Starship Flight 5. Originally, it was suggested that the launch would be delayed by nearly two months. However, recent updates have given a glimmer of hope, suggesting that the launch could happen sooner than expected. A hazardous space operations notice was recently issued for the Gulf of Mexico, signaling that a rocket launch is being planned near Boca Chica, Texas, which is SpaceX's primary launch site for Starship. These notices are not issued lightly, and typically when they are, it's a strong indication that real preparations are underway. According to the notice, the primary launch date for SpaceX's Starship Flight 5 is set for October 12, 2024, with additional backup dates stretching from October 13 to October 19. These backup windows are included in case the primary date cannot be met due to weather, technical issues, or other unforeseen problems. In the world of rocket launches, having backup dates is standard procedure, as launching a rocket is highly dependent on precise conditions like wind speed, cloud cover, and the availability of air and sea space. SpaceX, for its part, has made substantial progress toward this launch. They've already completed key upgrades on both the orbital launch mount and the tower systems at the Boca Chica site. The orbital launch mount is an essential part of the infrastructure, supporting the rocket during fueling and the initial stages of launch. This system has undergone critical improvements to handle the massive forces generated by Starship's Super Heavy Booster, which is designed to be the most powerful rocket ever built. Additionally, SpaceX has enhanced the tower systems, which play a role in stabilizing the rocket before launch and, in future missions, could be used to catch the returning booster. These upgrades were necessary to prepare for the sheer scale of the Starship system and its unique demands compared to other rockets. Both key components of the rocket itself, the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy booster, have also finished their respective upgrades. The Starship spacecraft is intended to be a fully reusable vehicle, capable of carrying large payloads and even humans into deep space, including missions to the Moon and Mars. The Super Heavy Booster, on the other hand, provides the power needed to propel Starship out of Earth's atmosphere. With upgrades and testing completed, SpaceX is almost at the finish line, and they just need to complete the final steps before launch, including what's known as a wet dress rehearsal. A wet dress rehearsal is essentially a full simulation of the launch process, except the rocket doesn't actually lift off. It involves fueling the rocket with propellant, going through all the pre-launch procedures, and then draining the fuel at the end. The purpose of this rehearsal is to ensure that all systems are working properly and that the team is ready for the real launch. It's the final practice run before the actual launch. If SpaceX completes this step successfully, it will be the last major hurdle before Starship is ready to go. However, there is one major issue that remains unresolved. FAA approval. While the hazardous space operations notice is promising, it's important to remember that nothing is official until the FAA gives its stamp of approval. The FAA, or Federal Aviation Administration, is the agency responsible for regulating all civil aviation in the United States, 
including commercial rocket launches. No rocket can launch without their authorization, and this approval process can take time. The FAA has a reputation for being extremely thorough, especially when it comes to new, untested rocket systems like Starship. While SpaceX has made significant progress, the FAA is tasked with ensuring that the launch meets all safety and environmental regulations. In the case of Starship Flight 5, the FAA hasn't confirmed the October launch dates yet. There's a very real possibility that the agency will stick to its previously announced timeline, which means the final decision on whether SpaceX can proceed with the launch might not come until November 9th. This would push the launch date back by almost a month. Musk has been openly critical of the FAA, especially regarding its handling of regulatory processes for SpaceX's Starship launches. His frustration has been expressed multiple times, with Musk arguing that the FAA's broken regulatory structure is holding back SpaceX's progress and, by extension, humanity's potential for interplanetary travel. In one of his most notable statements, Musk tweeted that, Under those rules, humanity will never get to Mars. This comment was made in response to delays caused by the FAA, which Musk believes are excessive and unnecessary. He has described these regulatory delays as superfluous, focusing on non-essential issues like environmental impact analyses that he considers overly bureaucratic. Musk's frustration reached a peak when Starship's test flights were repeatedly delayed due to FAA requirements, such as the need for additional sonic boom analysis and further environmental assessments. According to FAA, the reason for the extra scrutiny comes from changes SpaceX made to Flight 5's mission plan. SpaceX's current license already allows for multiple flights, but because SpaceX introduced some modifications, the FAA has decided to conduct a more detailed review. These changes likely include updates to the Super Heavy booster, which SpaceX plans to catch using the Mechazilla arm for the first time, a very ambitious maneuver. Additionally, in August 2024, SpaceX submitted new environmental data to the FAA. This data covers a larger area than what was previously reviewed, which means the FAA now needs to consult with other agencies like the Environmental Protection Agency and local wildlife organizations before giving the green light. Because of these new complexities, the FAA is likely to require more time for a thorough review. A final approval for Flight 5 might not come until late November 2024. This is disappointing news for many SpaceX fans and space enthusiasts who are hoping for an earlier launch date. However, the regulatory hurdles aren't new for SpaceX. In fact, Starship's launch timeline has been plagued with delays since its inception. If we look back at the past Starship launches, we can see a similar pattern. In 2021, SpaceX successfully launched and landed its first full-scale Starship prototype after a series of explosive failures in the earlier prototypes. These early flights tested key systems, but none of them were meant to reach orbit. When it came time for the full orbital flight, the process was bogged down by regulatory reviews and environmental concerns. If you've watched this far, it means you are one of our loyal viewers. And I've got something special just for you. We have highly realistic Starship models available on eBay exclusively for our dedicated fans. Head to the link in the description and grab your own model. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.